Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to- Oh! That's where they started me! When I resumed! Holy shit, I didn't- Think we were starting hot like that! Holy shit! I should have been prepared for that. So we'll distract her with the fish head. By the way, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Little Nightmares. I guess we just make a mad dash. God, she's so fast. Um, by the way, I want to get this out of the way at the beginning because this is the uh, last thing that's going to go up on the channel before the marathon starts tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, that's just going to be about probably 10 to 12 hours after this video goes live. I'm going to be live on twitch.tv slash scribed for 30 hours doing a charity fundraiser marathon for a member of our community. Uh, forget holidays. She is a wonderful person who has done a lot of wonderful things uh, both for us and for her community and just been a kind person in general. Uh, we're doing a fundraising marathon because she is facing a housing crisis. Uh, she could very well be on the verge of becoming homeless. She has been homeless before. I don't ever want to see that happen again. So we're raising money to help her out, give her safety and security. Oh, the gurgling is sickening. Uh, so yeah, that'll be twitch.tv slash scribed tomorrow morning. And run in for 30 hours. We're doing 30 hours of games, grappling off prizes. Come, spread the word, donate if you can. Okay, back to the game. Oh. I think I did a good job getting through that spiel, considering my nerves have started out rattled. Oh, this is not good. Because this boat has an ever so gentle sway that I can't influence. As does the ship that we're in. It has its own shift and sway. As it ebbs with the tide. It's really subtle. But there is motion at all times. Whew. Okay, at least this is a chance to get my composure back. we have a puzzle room? Which, yeah, I need it right now. I need a puzzle room. So we have suitcase, have a spot for that crank that's up here. So far this seems too straightforward. What happens if the crank lands in the water? Will it float? Doesn't seem like it would be buoyant, right? Fuck, I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, it won't float. Huh. Oh, okay, I see. So the button's gonna lower the water. So we can grab the crank, toss it up onto the suitcase, and then push the suitcase towards that left lip. And then we can toss the crank from the suitcase onto... Uh, onto the floor. Speaking of floating, by the way, I saw the trailer for the new It. Uh, it Chapter 2, back-to-back -back with the trailer for the new Child's Play. Both of them look pretty good. And It was uh, a fantastic movie. Both the original and the, and the remake came out a few years ago. Really good visual imagination. Looking forward to that. So then we're going to re-raise the water level, grab the crank, this should be more than enough distance. If not, I'm just going to kick my own ass. And now it's pretty simple. Yeah, we just raise the store with this. 
still trying to figure out how the granny fits into all this. What she... Oh... Okay. Is the suitcase even in a good enough position for me to pull this off? Because we can make that jump easy. We have to pause for a second to grab the ledge. Lordy. Lordy. The scene transitions, the room transitions, I should say, in this DLC have been fucking incredible. Oh, no! Oh! She was just chilling out. So she can live above the surface? I thought she was become- oh shit. I thought she was becoming a deep one. Maybe she's still in that process. Like, I don't know what she represents in the big picture. And even, like, lore-wise, I'm having a hard time piecing her together. Um, I believe there's a photo in the ladies' room with other geishas. I'm thinking maybe she was one of them. Or is a relative of the lady. Her mother. Oh my god, she is way more aggressive. Oh, okay. So step one, turn the power on. Step two, find a way over there. And then step three is push the TV into the water and electrocute her. Okay, there's the lever there. Oh! Almost. The fucking tricky. <laughs> tricky granny. Oh god, I thought he was gonna land on the plank. Every single time you enter the water, it's just this exercise in tension. It's so good. She can smash these now. <gasps> they tune it so fine. Please push this. It's really finely tuned. That knife set between getting caught and escaping. Okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, can't really glean anything off of the two photos. We've seen them before. And even the repetition. Uh, it, normally, you can glean something from, like, parallelism and repetition, but... Uh, beats me. It's just the lighthouse in the eye again. Which you can call recurring motifs. Uh, there's there's probably something you can infer just from the recurring motif. I don't know if I can get the gears of my brain to spin enough right now. Okay, hold on. That seems like where I'm supposed to go. What are you? Oh, it's a message in a bottle. Wonder how many of these I missed and what that unlocks. Probably concept art. <laughs> it's the whole plot. <laughs> and now only the kid has the script. Oh, that's not another one of the... Oh, 
all right. Oh shit! Oh! N Intentional or? <gasps> oh my god! That's how that ha- <gasps> Holy shit! This game is so good! This game is so good! God. Ah! That the end of the first DLC? Do we get a credit roll for each one? Oh man. Oh, that was so good. No, it's right into the hideaway. Oh, hell yes! Sorry, um, <laughs> I was like leaned as close as I, as I could get to the monitor with my mouth hanging open like a fucking kid glued to the TV. Oh my god, I love this game! Holy shit!